Hello everybody, it's Antoninus and another Ruby reaction, this time to episode 2 of volume 5. Before I get into the video, I just want to say, episode 1 is out. Rooster Teeth have given me, well, reviewed my video and has made it public, so that's all well and good. So if you guys haven't actually had a chance to see it, uh, go back in the playlist or just search, it's probably one of the latest things since I only post a couple of videos a week, but whatever. Quick review of episode 1. We met Lionheart, found out he is still uh, being blackmailed or something by Watts. Oscar has met Team Ranger. Weiss is still on her way to see her sister. Blake is about to do something about the White Fang, like going public with information about, uh, what's his name, Adam going against like Sienna Khan who we still haven't seen yet and uh, what else what else what else oh yeah biggest shock of the fucking episode turns out Yang ain't going to see Ruby she's going to find her fucking mother that was a shocker because with the way volume 4 ended I thought she was going looking for Ruby but now she's going looking for Raven so they're still going to meet up sometime in this volume, but, like, I don't know if Rooster Teeth intended it that way, or midway through production they decided, you know what, we'll do it this way, just so we can wrap everything up together. But, I don't know. Whatever. Before I get in the video, I will happily tell you to go and watch this on Rooster Teeth's channel, link is in the description. And also go to their website to get a first membership. It is cheap as hell. You can pay direct from your bank. Or you can pay if you're not happy doing it that way. You can pay directly through PayPal. You can watch these a week before they come out on YouTube. And before any of us reactors actually get to it. So enough of my pointless babble. Straight into Ruby for... Well... Fuck okay, it, just for the fun of it. Ah, such a good intro. Shame I'm cutting it from the video. Alright, we're starting out with Lionheart. Looking. Oh, fuck off, Watts. I know it's you. Dickhead. It reminds me of every pompous prat I ever knew. And I knew a lot of them growing up. Trust me, I'll tell you about it sometime. Say something. Okay, what the hell's going on here? Lionheart, just fight back. Come on. You said you were a good fighter in the first episode. Oh no, not that creepy thing. What's going on? Oh no. It's this best. Dickhead! Oh, wait, did she just talk? Oh, good. I was just saying, last season was Jessica Negri's easiest paycheck. Man, you're an asshole and he's a coward. No, don't. Oh, Lionheart, you dickhead. Lie sometimes. Fucking 
hell? I want to like Leo, but... Okay, now this has gotten really dark compared to the other volumes. Well done, Rooster Teeth. You've uh, stepped it up a level. Yeah, good luck with that one. Ruby's starting to get a collection of pieces from the bad guys. She's almost got. She's actually got more dismemberment score than Adam does. She's already a maiden. What more power could she possibly get? Hmm. I do feel like something's gonna happen with Cinder. Bloody hell, saying that would we'll probably make that lunatic's day. Seriously, this has stepped up to the point where they're literally threatening to take out Bloody Leonardo's eye. Alright, what's up with you, Weiss? What is going on? Floating islands. Those are legit floating islands. Where are we? Nowhere good. Passing by some of Lake Monson's floating islands. Gravity dust that forms in these things has given us a little turbulence. Gravity right. dust, yeah. right. But the island sometimes hides a nasty drift. I'm just writing on our friends at the The hell is that? Uh, oh. Alright. Shit, sign up. Ooh, boom. Did we get a new grip? Yeah, we get a new grip. And they have to be fucking wasps. Of all things. And they have to be wasps. Fuck it. Weiss, go. Ah, fuck. Well, I believe the correct term is Run? Lancers. Oh. And she's off to do her own thing. That was the Schnee logo. He's unofficially carrying dust for Schnee. Interesting. I love the water effects they use. Oh, here she goes. 
Go on, Wise, do something cool. Make me like you again. Okay. That was an odd one. She's shooting fucking fireballs. I'm so used to everyone having like guns and whatnot, but Weiss's glyphs are still pretty awesome. Ooh. Scatter shot. I think that's ice. Oh shit. Alright. You're hooked. You got a bunch of them chasing you. What do you do? I got an idea. Hold on. Whenever pilots say they have an idea, it's usually something crazy. Okay, let's see what happens. They're really clinging on to that bastard. Ooh. I'm starting to like this pilot. Mm. What is she doing? Besides alerting more of them. Guess that works. Now the problem is, ooh, never mind, they made it out, I was going to say, the problem is, they just caused the uh, avalanche. No you're not. I believe that's the queen. Called it! That is one big, ugly fucker. Go on. You need at least one awesome kill. What the hell? It fucking shoots spikes! You ever just, just threw spikes? That one fucking shoots it! Hmm. Is she gonna... Oh, this is gonna be very, very bad. Fucking hell. And it's still not dead. <laughs> Come on. Music's kicked in, you know shit's gonna happen now. Come on. She summoned a fucking guardian! She's literally dropping her guardian off. <laughs> okay. This is actually cool. I was hooked. Oh, alright. It's all time. Thing cut straight through the middle. On. Oh, 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 she can make it disappear and reappear now. Nice redirection. Straight through the stomach. Well done. I actually am happy. I completely forgot she did the whole summoning thing at the end there. She's in slow down time or something. It's, it's one of those. Why's his powers and whatnot? It's one of the few things I don't really know off by heart. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Who's this? So I want you to listen when I tell you that the White Fang will not attack Haven Academy. Is that Sienna? I am Peter Khan. I am Fuck you. you. Oh my god, she is actually gorgeous. The assault you led on Beacon was not the great victory you clearly think it was. And you should be grateful the punishment wasn't more severe. 
You should kill him. He's a dick. Agreed. The loss of the CCT has brought global communication to a crawl, and the White Fang is more of a target now than ever before. Oh, I see. So she basically put it as. So her po her policy was attack only when attacked. Fucking kill him, please. More about the humans. Then why not talk to one of them yourself? Hazel. Oh, not this dickhead. In fact, I don't even know if he's a dickhead. Took you long enough. With the deepest voice in the fucking Ruby universe. Please. Please. Nobody needs to die today. Adam does. Just asking for a moment of your time. The longer you stay here, the less of a chance you have of leaving alive. Mm. I'll take those chances. I feel like he's gonna be unbelievably badass. I haven't really mentioned, but I like Adam's new look, even though he is a dickhead. You don't have to like me to get the results you want. I'm starting to doubt either of you fully comprehend what it is that I want. I want humanity to fear the Vonis, to know that we demand respect. I do not want hmm. to start a war with the humans that we cannot win. That's too late. You're wrong. I don't like his smirk. Adam, back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Adam, you dick. Seriously. Oh no, I feel it. No, 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 no. Adam, you fucking dickhead! I waited all season to fucking see her and you kill her off! Rip his fucking Give our former leader <laughs> proper burial. All who are here tonight. Hazel, do something please. I know you're a bad guy, but kick the living shit out of him. Sienna Khan will become a martyr for our cause. Her final act as high leader. I want you fucking dead. Oh, 
<laughs> Adam, you are an asshole. You are cancer. This was my business, not yours. It's our business now. And I don't appreciate you withholding things like that. Your master was concerned with Sienna's willingness to cooperate. Now she doesn't have to be. He needs to die. Rooster Teeth, kill him off. Like, sometime this season, please. I disagree. You're an asshole. No one likes you. I waited all season to fucking see her. She best come back. I don't care how, I don't care why, but she best be back. Ooh, what's this? Who are these guys? Help! Please! Bandits. What do you think? I think. Ring up! What? We just hit the jackpot. What the hell? What? The fuck just happened? It's just my brain is mush. I don't know what the hell to say for this. Loose teeth, you have gone crazy with this, and I love you and both fucking hate you at the same time. Oh, all right. I'll go through this bit by bit and do my mini review. So it's definitely been shown that Lionheart is being forced to do this. Basically over fear of his own life because Salem is going to kill him. Cinder's got a voice back and her reaction to the whole keeping Ruby alive and keeping Spring alive kind of leans towards I think she's going to do something against Salem. But that's one of those things you'll just need to wait and see because I don't know what's going to happen with those two. One of the few things that are very hard to predict, even for hardcore fans. Let's see, what else? We didn't get no Yang or Blake in this one. Or we didn't even get... Did we get Ruby? Did we get Ruby? I can't remember if... Wait, no. No, we didn't. So it was just Weiss and the White Fang, I believe we saw this one. And Weiss got her, like, boss kill, basically. Last season it was Blake basically helping to kill that fucking dragon-like Grim. This season it was that Queen Lancer. Which, I love the design, don't get me wrong, but I hate fucking wasps. They're pains in the ass for whoever. And, of course, she ends up crashing... But I didn't expect her to be picked up by fucking Raven. Of all people. Raven. So that's... We now have three people that are going to meet up. We have Ruby, Yang, and Weiss that are definitely going to meet up in this volume. The way this is going. Unless Weiss's sister steps in to save her. I don't know. But that's one of those things... We'll have to wait until another, like, episode that also goes to see what actually happens. But... You... Uh, uh, asshole Adam. After waiting so long to see the design for Sienna Khan, who looked absolutely gorgeous, she gets killed off first episode. Seriously. I don't get it. Adam ruins everything. Adam is cancer. Adam is the worst possible person on the planet. I know he's a fictional character, but God, at first I thought he was so cool, but now I fucking hate him. <sighs> and bad thing is, I'm thinking of cosplaying him uh, next year at fucking RTX London. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But seriously, killing off Sienna Khan 
like first like episode she's actually in. I don't know what Rooster Teeth are uh, planning, but I don't think she's actually going to die. I think she's going to recover and join Blake, if that makes sense. And the way Hazel was looking at the whole thing, he's going to deem Adam as loose cannon and unpredictable and unable to control, which is going to send Salem into a frenzy and want Adam dead. So that's basically what I'm thinking this is going to happen. Uh, so hopefully I get my wish and Adam dies. Probably not, but I can dream, can't I? And <laughs> all I can say is this has been an amazing episode. Rooster Teeth, well done. Episode 1 of Volume 5, perfect. This one, you've stepped it up again. And all I can say is make sure you support Rooster Teeth within everything they do, get a first membership. Subscribe to their channel, watch it over there at least a good couple hundred times. And just. I got no else to say. This is a long as hell episode, and I just want to say thank you for watching my reaction to Ruby episode 2 of volume 5. The next episode will be out next week at roughly the same time. And if you're in, like I said, if you're interested, the episode one of the like chapter was like held for review, but then we released. So if you want to watch that, watch that. And I will see you all in the next video. Later.